So for EGFR mutant uh, non-small cell lung cancer, we have now a new option in the first line setting, which is uh, ozimertinib after the, the exciting uh, presentation uh, during the presidential uh, symposium of the FLORA data, showing the benefit of ozimertinib first line as compared to first generation uh, gefitinib and erlotinib. But we do not have all the, the data in your hand to, to make the decision, the final decision, because we need to understand that uh, in EGFR mutant and small cell lung cancer, the issue is treatment sequence. And uh, we need to determine what is the best sequence to achieve prolonged overall survival, which is a result of first line, but also second, third, uh, and maybe fourth line setting. And we have already uh, data with this sequence of first, second generation TKI, followed in T790M positive patient by ozimertinib, which is a standard of care in this uh, situation. We, uh, w there, there was several uh, data reported, especially a poster presented by Dr. Sequist uh, yesterday, showing that the overall survival of patients treated with gefitinib or afatinib first line followed by ozimertinib was more than uh, 48 months, which is far more than the simple addition of the PFS of the uh, two lines of treatment, 10 months plus uh, 10 months. So we have to understand that uh, the sequencing uh, multiple lines of treatment makes prolonged survival in this situation. And for now, we do not have mature overall survival data from FLORA. We do not have uh, the precise uh, management of patients after the failure of ozimertinib. And so it's, but those data are crucial to uh, help us to make our decision for first-line treatment. We have also to understand the biology behind, because the resistance mechanism to first, second generation TKI versus ozimertinib are not the same. Uh, we have also to understand what is the value of T790M de novo, because we are now able with uh, uh, better technology for molecular sequencing to identify which patient will progress uh, with a T790M dependent uh, mechanism. And maybe this has some impact uh, on the choice of strategy uh, uh, we need to apply for individual patients. So this is all the story about precision medicine and uh, the choice of treatment sequences clearly should really be based on, uh, on, uh, on biology of the tumor.